welcome here to Talk FCB, and in the end, we tried, we gave it everything, we worked there up until the final moments of this game, but it wasn't enough. On the night, Barca have drawn with PSG, we've been eliminated from the Champions League, but I have to say, particularly that first half, I was very, very proud of the team. We're going to be talking about what was an extremely frustrating 90 minutes, but at the end of it, we can be positive. It's all coming up, guys. It wasn't the comeback that we dreamed of, but we are heading in the right direction. Let's get to it. Today's video, guys, is coming to you courtesy of the one football app that if you do want to stay update right throughout the end of this season here, there is plenty more for us to fight for. We've still got our Liga. We still have a couple to Ray. You can get that there down below in the description. And as you can see here from the match stats in this game, it was domination from the first minute to the last Barca dominated the game in terms of possession, in terms of shots on goal, the amount of chances that we had in this game to score, and it kills me. Honestly, right now, I am really, really hurting, not because of the result, not the fact we've been knocked out, but because tonight could have been different. It really, really could have been. When it came down to it, there was opportunities for Barcelona, and particularly there in that first half. You look there at the stats again, we had more shots in that first half and more shots on target in the opening 45 minutes than any other team in the entirety of the Champions League this season. It was an absolute onslaught. And as you can see here, the system that was deployed by Ronald Koeman, I loved it. I thought it was aggressive. I thought it really took the game to PSG. You had De Jong there, who did play as part of a back three. He didn't play in midfield there. He played as one of those centre-backs, but he was constantly stepping out. He was constantly there, pushing us up the field. You had Jordi Alba pushing on, Dest as well. You had Messi, Griezmann and Dembele all alternating their positions. And I thought it was a really aggressive, very, very bold strategy from Kuman, And I thought it worked very, very well. We could have won this game. No question about that. Because like I say, those chances... I hurt. And it started right from the word go because Barca, like I say, we needed to come out. We needed to have a hunger right from the first minute. And we did that. We pressed PSG so, so high. And even in those first minutes, they were panicking. You could see it there in their distribution. Kayla Navas was just putting balls there into the stands. They were giving the ball away. They were making fouls. And PSG, truly, if we'd have got that first goal, I do honestly believe that things could have been very different. And even, of course, if we had taken just one or two more of these chances, Ousmane Dembele, so many times times there. He did everything right. He was getting in behind. He was taking on PSG. They couldn't live with him. But when it came to that final finish, just like in the first leg, when he had that chance, you need to bury them at this level, at the very top level. You look at it last night with Dortmund. Haaland had the chances. He buried them. You need a top class elite finisher at this level. And we didn't have that tonight. I'm not going to point at players and name names and shame people because I honestly believe that every single player here tonight for Barca. They were trying everything. They were giving absolutely everything. And that is all that we can ask from them. They did all in their power tonight to win the game, but we lack that clinical touch. We lack there that player in that number nine role to give us the goals when we desperately needed them. Because I honestly think, if we go into that halftime break there with two, could have been three, could have been four goals that we scored, we would have seen such a different game. And I think on the day, there are certain things that I would look at in terms of refereeing decisions. You look at the penalty that PSG got, and I just don't get it. I do not understand how that is a penalty, how we go across there to look at VAR. Yes, there is contact. Obviously, it had to be long late, another penalty that he has given away. But number one, he doesn't mean to do that. He doesn't even really know that Icardi is there. But number two, Ter Stegen's got the ball in his hands. That didn't affect anything. If we're having to use there a magnifying glass to try and find where the contact happened, surely that's not clear and obvious. Surely there, that is something that should not be given as a penalty. And then, of course, after Messi scored his rocket, what a goal that was. I have to say, that was stunning from Messi. He took it upon himself there to say, you know what, I'm taking this into my own hands. We're missing chances. We weren't putting the ball away. He thought, you know what, bang, stunning strike. I absolutely leapt out of my seat when that goal went in. Kayla Navas could do nothing about it. And then, of course, we got our own penalty, which, you know, Fair play, credit to him. Kayla Navas saves it very, very well. Messi there tries to put it in the corner. He just leaves that leg trailing there, Navas. It's a really good save, and it comes out. But after that penalty there was saved, straight away, VAR were checking something. Now, at the time, we didn't know quite what they were checking, what sort of decision they would come to. But as you can see here, they were checking because they suspected encroachment. And 
as you can see, Marco Verratti is encroaching. You can see there he's inside the D, which counts there as encroachment. As the penalty is taken, he is in an illegal position, and it's even more significant because as that ball comes back out, he is the one to head it away. In the rule book, it is straightforward. It is absolutely simple. That penalty should have been retaken. Now, yes, I know Messi miss that Kaelin Navas made a very, very good save. I'm not denying any of that. All I'm saying is VAR looked at that. Those are the rules. It should have been retaken. And I don't understand how you can give a penalty there for Riccardi at one end, getting a magnifying glass out. But here, when it's clear as day... The rules are not enforced. And I think obviously in the second half, it was a bit more difficult for Barcelona. I think as the game went on, you know, that energy, the adrenaline that was going through us, it did start there to drain. It started to dawn on us that, yeah, probably we're not going to be able to make this possible. But again, we still had chances. And I just felt like tonight we were missing that bit of luck, that bit of help there just from the footballing gods to help us get that goal. But it never came. Even Messi in the second half there, he gets you to a brilliant position. It's a great ball to pick him out. And it's just a block that comes out of nowhere from Marquinhos to deny what looks like a certain goal. There were so many crosses there coming across the box where players were inches away from getting on the end of it. You look there at Dembele, you look at the fact that how close he would have been to get a goal today. And it just really, really hurts because I think today we went out there, we did exactly what we wanted to see from the team. They really put their heart and soul into it and we deserved to come out with a win. Maybe not come back, maybe not, you know, do the impossible, but we deserved here to to win this game and know that we deserved it. I think Kuman goes away from this game now with a lot that he can build from. He's seen again the system, the three at the back. It's worked well for us again. Really, really good to see that. And I think Laporta watching on tonight will have been thinking a few things. He would have been thinking here, we've got a lot of good young players. We've got a lot of talent. This team quite clearly can play good football. We can dominate the big teams in the big games. We've shown that tonight. But what we lack, like I say, what we really need to do in that final third, when it comes to the big moments, Moments. When it comes down to the big chances, you need somebody there who will just put them away, who will be clinical as that centre forward. That has to be the priority this summer. He's already looking into it. But tonight, sadly, despite all of the chances, all of the pressure, all of that really, really good energy, it wasn't quite enough. And I am disappointed because on a different day, with a slice of luck, could it have been different? So that there, guys, is where I am going to leave today's video and indeed the match review. Of course, we're going to be talking more about this. We're going to be looking forward. But like I say, our season is not over. Yeah, of course, we didn't want to be out of the Champions League. We wanted to try and fight there into the later rounds. But we still have the Copa del Rey. We still are fighting for the La Liga title race. We have a lot of big games still to come this season. And we'll keep on fighting. We can be confident. We can be proud of what we saw tonight. Proud of our team. And proud to wear this badge. We are on the right path. We're making steps forward. We're making progress. We are developing as a team. We can get back to the top. We have to believe in that. So please do leave your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Thank you indeed for all of your positive support, all the optimism, all of the real confidence heading into this game. I think the players today, they did us proud. They did not let us down. And we'll go again. We are not going away. The only way now for us, it is up. I will see you soon, guys. Thanks again for your great support and never stop believing. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Uh -huh.